<clears throat> well, good morning, everybody. It's David George Brook, that gratitude guy, with yet another guest on my gratitude podcast interview regarding the pandemic. Today, I have a good friend that I was just thinking I've known, gosh, a dozen or more years, uh, Brenna Woods from up north in Canada. Brenna, welcome to the podcast. Hi, David. Thank you for inviting me. I really appreciate it, and I'm glad to be here. Great, great. I'm glad to have you here, too. And uh, you and I were just chatting briefly about uh, what's happening, of course, which is the main topic that all of us in the whole world are dealing with. And so you had some really great points, which I wanted to get to when I asked you a couple of questions, which is, um, we'll get some good answers, I'm sure, from you. So my first one is, is, is what is your best coping mechanism in dealing with this pandemic? Well, over the past few years, even the years when we first met each other, uh, I was journaling my gratitude and also adding what I'm thankful for. Mm. Um, within the last few weeks, I've created a mindfulness mandala. Mm. And what that is, I'll describe it for you uh, because it's on my phone, but since we're recording this, I can't show you the two at once. Uh, what it is, a starburst, and you are in the center of it, you are I am. Mm. And then ascending out to, from I am, are words that describe you. It is your in, individual intent. It is self-provoking and adjectives describing who you are, who you want to become, and it's a calming effect. And I look at this daily and seeing who I am in the center and the starburst of those words going outward, such as perfect love, family, perfect health, and so on. And I look at this daily when I wake up, when I go to bed, and even times throughout the day, and it has a grounding, calming feeling. And it helps me get through every day because we hear the numbers growing, and that's unsettling for all of us. Sure is. It sure is, yeah. Yeah, I really like that. How did you, you had emailed that to me. How did you uh, come up on that? <coughs> Excuse me. It's allergies. <laughs> Please <laughs> believe me, it's allergies. Um, over the last uh, 10 years, I've taken cognitive thinking and strategic thinking. Mm -hmm. And that was actually after the classes I had taken with you, uh, the conference calls of the mastermind uh, like minds think alike. Right. And that's helped me develop and create this mindfulness mandala. Excellent. And it can be a, as simple as a star, as a starburst, a flower, um, or even just lines in a crisscross. And mm. it, from there, you develop it into the words that best describe you. And it can change. It doesn't have to be the same. It doesn't have, it's, you know, not written in stone. Right. Um, the way we feel about ourselves changes. And so you can have those starburst change as you grow. And when you look back on the, the mandalas that you created, you'll see how you have grown for yourself. Excellent. Oh, that's really cool. And it really does start like the spokes of a wheel with the hub of the wheel that starts with you. Absolutely. And it's like somebody said, charity begins at home or build a strong foundation. Of course, the most famous is put the air mask on you first before you put it on your child and so forth. Yeah. So that is excellent. So another question is, we're certainly going through uncertain times to say the least. And what do you find, whether it's in general or even right now, you're most grateful for? Wow. Um, it's been such a year, a crazy year, uh, very surreal. And I am grateful for being at my mother's in Canada. I am grateful that my family is safe. Uh, we're scattered all over North America and the Southern Hemisphere. 
I'm grateful for my friends that are safe at home, not stuck at home, being safe and just being able to share how we feel. We are, we are all one in this world and yeah. we, we all feel that sense of surrealism and hope helplessness not hopelessness helplessness mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so we're we're all in this together and I, and i am grateful that we we are all one that's a great point i know when i do my talks one of my modules is sharing gratitude and of course my whole topic is gratitude but i mentioned that it's so much more fulfilling when you share well now we're sharing whether it's responsibility or uh tragedy or, or tough times sort of when it's shared by people it's somehow easier to deal with and uh something about that group dynamic about just feeling you're uh, you're surrounded by people that are going through the same thing that you're going through so very important. So you're a very creative person and always worked hard. You mentioned uh, moving in with mom and her mom as we're dealing with this and so on. So any tips or thoughts or ideas for people as sort of what for what they should do maybe as long as they're housebound? Housebound, <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. A lot of I've I've read a couple of comments on Facebook. I'm bored, and you know even in the daily routine, you change it up, change how you wake up in the day and just change that routine um i've started doing coloring in adult coloring books and the way that i see the color on the page and how to make that that one object become real and mm. pop out and that's helped me calm my mind my anxiety and also you're creating happiness and joy from the also, colors and what you created. So now do you stay, do you stay within the lines? Uh, <laughs> I used to, but um, um, I let that part of my OCD fall. Oh, that's so good. Um, that's good. That's I, good. I go over the lines because I want to create that, that, that sense of it's real. So, yeah. Yes, I have gone out of the OC, OCD, one of the many things you and I share in common, and I'm very proud of it. So that's good. So, so my, my last question is, does Brenna have a, a quote or a philosophy or something for life that you kind of fall back on through tough times like this? It's sort of a mantra or anything like that that sort of uh, sustains you, if you will? Um, I have words and also a, a physical one as well. Um, it it all comes down to giving gratitude. What are you mm -hmm. grateful for? Mm -hmm. And also, what are you thankful for? I am grateful today because of, I am thankful for because of, and it's having that, those words are even calming, calming to my heart, calming to my mind. Right. The physical one is uh, joy the dog. Mm. and he's curled up on the couch right now but um he is my little angel excellent and he's comforted me and also my mom too and he's happy and joyful and he's that's so cool yeah that's so cool those are great those are great things and i was thinking when you and i met through rotary and then as i got into gratitude and the, the lessons we used to do the classes and so on and I'm very spoiled by this because gratitude has transformed my life, but there may need, may, may never be a time when gratitude is more important than now. Oh, it's absolutely. The things that, gosh, you don't appreciate something sometimes until it's taken away and a lot of stuff has been taken away from us. And, and I think it's also going to help us realign our priorities and uh, yeah. really get maybe back to basics. So, well, thank yeah. you so much. Those are, those were excellent tips. And uh, I so appreciate you being on the podcast and we will chat soon. Thank you, David. It's always good to see you. And I am so grateful for you and our friendship. Oh, thank you. Likewise. Thank you so much. Thank for you.